Well, hello there. Today is Saturday, August the 10th, and our scripture reading for today is Isaiah chapters 47 through 51. Pray with me. Oh God, our King, thank you again for another day. Thank you for life. Thank you for the blessing of your love and your forgiveness in Jesus. Father, we ask that you direct us today in his name. Amen. All right, so here we go into chapter 47. The Lord tells of the future fall of Babylon. The richest and most powerful nation on earth will sit on the ground without a throne. He says to Babylon, I will take vengeance for you have trusted in your wickedness. Therefore, evil shall come upon you. No one shall save you. Chapter 48 uh, is a plea for God's people to hear him and to lean on the God of Israel. In verses 17 and 18, it says, Thus says the Lord your, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord your God who teaches you to profit, who, who leads you by the way you should go. Oh, that you, would, that you had heeded my commandments. Then your peace would have been like a river and your righteousness like the waves of the sea. In verse 22, it says, There is no peace for the wicked. And then in chapter 49, verses 1 through 13, um, says we should, read, we should read that, those verses, with Jesus in mind. He is the servant, in verse 3, in whom the Lord will be glorified, a light to the Gentiles, in verse 6, the Holy One whom man despises and nations abhor, in verse 7, and the help in the day of salvation, in verse 8. The rest of the chapter is God's promise to not forget His people. All flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am your Savior and your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. In chapter 50, the Lord asks His people if He has divorced them. The answer was no, yet they had forsaken Him, the One who established them. He did and will dis discipline His people, but will never forsake them or us. In chapter 51, the Lord calls for His people to love the rock from which you were hewn or which you were cut. And He was speaking of Abraham and how he lived. Abraham lived by faith. The Lord tells His people, Do not fear the reproach of men, nor be afraid of their insults. Do not be afraid of a man who will die, because his righteousness will be forever. God's righteousness will be forever. His salvation will be forever from generation to generation. All right. Um, why do we worry so much about what other people think? Why, why is it not more important for us to, to think about or consider what God thinks of us more so than what people think of us? In our thought for today, it says, regardless of circumstances, God is in control. And Christ is revealed as the light to the Gentiles. Uh, Jesus said, I am the light of the world in John chapter 8. God bless you. Have a great day.